Hey, what's up guys? Josh back. Hey, I don't know if you are as curious as I am about changing the Alteza front transfer case fluid and how to do it because there's really not much information. I haven't been able to find a single video online as far as how to do it. And all the forms say, hey, you got to put the transfer case fluid in through the shifter, so you got to remove that. And according to the factory service manual, that is not true. It says that you drain it and fill it right from the bottom from the transfer case which is down here so let's get a little light so this is your front transfer case here so that's your drain plug right there and then there is a fill plug right there and from what I've read it takes 1.5 quarts of fluid to fill it so uh, when you fill it, make sure you use, according to factory service manual, I'll put some pictures up here of the manual, but you're gonna wanna use the Nissan uh, automatic transmission fluid type D, or Matic D fluid. So that's specifically designed for it. Doesn't recommend putting anything else in there but that per the service manual. And I have read other people have been successful with other stuff, but if Nissan recommends that, that's what I'm going to use. And this is a look at the front transfer case. You can see that main line up here that comes into it. That's charged with your uh, fluid from the rear. So you got your Alteza pump in the back that runs off Nissan power steering fluid that's in the little reservoir in the trunk. And then you've got the, the pump like right in the back by the rear diff. Pretty cramped, but here's the rear diff facing to the back of the car and then right above your drive shaft area is your pump for your Alteza front uh, transfer case. So you can see the little, little bleeder valve and everything, so pretty impressive. So when you start your car, you hear it charge up and make that so That's pretty charging your pressure. Shoots the fluid into here when the uh, speed sensors uh, sense that the uh, rear wheels are spinning and you can transfer power into the clutch packs in this little transfer case and then divert the power up to 50% of the torque through the drive shaft to the front wheels through the front diff and then out through the drive axles to the wheels. And all that experience is delivered into the cockpit of your vehicle right to that fancy little torque gauge. So that, that lets you know when your Alteza system is kicking in. All right, and then before you start with the drain plug, you're gonna wanna make sure you can loosen the fill plug up top. Make sure you can get your fluid back in. So that's out no problem. That's 3 8 inch up there. And the drain plug is actually a half inch. Let's see. And that is definitely not the Matic D fluid because you guys can see that that's like a pink color or a purpley color. So whoever did the service on this is running something different. Let's see how much comes out. The fluid's actually pretty clean and clear. Magnetic uh, uh, magnetic catcher on the back of the drain plug looks pretty good. Looks like it's just some type of ATF to me. Just a uh, normal uh, automatic transmission fluid is what it looks like. And it looks clean, so it looks like it was uh, cleaned pretty recently and changed. So let that drain. I'll wipe down the drain plug, get it uh, sealed up with some uh, RTV and we'll fill it.
All right, I've got the drain plug all fully clean, scrubbed down with the wire brush, rubbing alcohol to remove all the grease and everything from it. And now we're gonna apply a little bit of RTV. And this is the Nissan factory RTV, so it's good stuff. All right, I'm going ahead and cleaning out the inside of the threading. Make sure it's as clean as I can get to get a good seal at the RTV. And I'm using a little rubbing alcohol. We'll put the drain plug back in. That drain plug is all sealed. It should look something like that when you're done. I'm gonna let that cure overnight just to make sure that the uh, RTV gets a chance to fully dry without being disturbed with the ETF going back in. All right, it's the morning and it's dry. So we've got our fill line in and it's running up to our funnel. So let's go ahead and grab our fluid and put it in. This has a real good rate of flow. There's little tiny air bubbles going through there. You see this stuff's like a nice cherry red color. The stuff that came out was more of a pinkish color, which leads me to believe that it wasn't factory Nissan Type D fluid. All right, and we are full. Go ahead and pull that out and then make sure you guys level out your car like this. So you got the accurate uh, fluid height in there to get the proper fill level. All right, we can go ahead and put the fill plug back in. I got some rubbing alcohol here. We're gonna wipe down the surface around the outside for the RTV as well as just the inside of the grooves on the bottom where the fluid was spilling out of that fill hole. Try to get as much of that out of there so the RTV will stick good. All right, and then just wipe all the area up of the extra automatic transmission fluid. That's it, this job is all done. So we got fill plug all done, as well as the drain plug all done. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.